Sir, His Majesty has requested your presence. Now? Did he say what it was concerning? No, sir, but it seemed urgent. He said that he wished you to attend immediately. Did he now? Very well. Aldwin, my cloak. Yes, sir. I want a wife. Sir? I want to marry Rowan. My good king, though I am always at your service, and this is a pressing matter, I fail to see what use I can be at such a time of night as this. I am lonely. How can a king have no queen? I need a wife for myself and a mother for Benedict. Find me one. My lord king... Oh, come. You must know of somebody suitable. I have heard talk of a fair maiden who lives in the west of the kingdom. She is said to be of noble birth and virgin youth. Go on. And they say she is fair and beautiful, that her skills as a chatelaine are unmatched. And her heritage? Her father was the late Elderman Aldgar, my lord, and her mother a member of the House of Wessex. I believe their power stretches as far as Mercia. The girl herself is heiress to her father's estate at Dunsford. What's her name? I believe it's Elfrida, sire. You will go to her. At once. If her qualities are as admirable as they are rumoured to be, you will tell of my love and offer her my hand in marriage. And if she will not? I will not be answered thus. By God's grace, she will become consort of this great kingdom and helpmate to its king. Very well. Aldwin, sir, ready my horse. I ride to my king's bidding. Yes. Am I to speak first? Forgive me, my lady. So he does speak? I am your servant, Elderman Rowan, advisor to King Edgar of England. Then I am in noble company. Would you care for a drink? My thanks, but no. Do you play? A little.
at me at a disadvantage. Do I? I fear I lack some considerable skill at this game. I believe it is your focus which is lacking, Elderman. Perhaps if you kept your eye on the board. Excellently played, my lady. I shall humbly accept my defeat. I may not be so humble in proclaiming my victory. Nor should you be. I've never met your equal. Never? What of your Lord King, who's said to be such a skilled logician? Indeed, my lady, you're right. The King is a master at logic, ever victorious on the battlefield. And ever victorious at chess. It's very good, my lady. I'm sure if you look closely, you'll find some fault in it. I find that hard to believe. And do you flatter all women so? Lady Elfrida, I have a reputation for chivalry which has not been earned through idle flattery. And I'm not a man to feign admiration. If my compliments have offended you in some way, I apologise. Would you like me to take my leave? You may do as you wish. But first, pray tell me the purpose of your visit. Sir? Would you ride with me tomorrow afternoon? Rose? Yes, my lady? I'm going riding tomorrow. Very good, my lady. Farewell, Sir Rowan. My lady? I cannot understand why people go in search of love or wealth. All the joys in life can be found in nature, not in human companionship. My lady, forgive me, but have you not felt lonely since your father's passing? To marry might provide you with company, security. And what of that? I've yet to meet a man whose company I can tolerate through dinner. And you speak of marrying one and sharing my bed with him until my dying day. I struggle to imagine that such a man exists. If there were a worthy suit, I, perhaps I would consider keeping him company. You would consider marriage? Marriage is the dominion of men, Rose. A woman becomes bound by it. She's no longer herself, but rather the property of her husband. To marry is to allow oneself to be caged, and I wish to have wings. If I felt that I could love and be loved freely, then I might understand the attraction of matrimony. My lady, I believe there must be a suitor worthy of you in this kingdom. Perhaps there is, Rose. 